All right, Shalom. Shalom. First and foremost, all praise and glory is unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, Rakakodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders at the Great Millstone. Greetings, salutations, and blessings unto the elect, those that are changing their lives towards righteousness to earn their salvation from Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, to earn their salvation. I think I double said that, but yeah, Khan, Khan. I'm the brother Shaquat. Bars off. And uh, we're going to get into a little uh, lesson right here about this pastor. That told his congregation that you so-called Negroes are, um, or, or he said blacks, are, um, are God's chosen people. Actually, I'll read this and then I'll play the video. Did you want to start with the scripture first? You can play it. Okay, I'll read the, um, the caption. It says, Pastor John Kilpatrick says God will avenge black Americans. Mm. Pastor John Kilpatrick says God will avenge black Americans. They are God's people, so shut your white mouths about them. The way uh, that... Uh, that this has sent my spiritualization into a whole frenzy. He is straight up prophesying, praying for him because I know the evil of some of his people and he needs some covering right about now. Hmm. That was the um, the caption about the video we're going to play. I think uh, you can probably bring that one. You said it was in... Um, uh, uh, every, every, oh, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Romans quick. 14. Yeah, let uh, me get to it real quick. Um, Romans 14 What's the verse? 11 oh, gotcha. Romans 14 11 mm -hmm. For it is written As I live saith the Lord Every knee shall bow to me And every tongue shall confess To the most high mm -hmm. And that's pretty much what he was doing He was uh, 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 Confessing with his tongue the truth mm -hmm. Okay and eventually The whole world is going to have to come to, to The realization of the truth Period, point blank. Okay, and this pastor was, was was leading the charge for you Edomites. Now, don't get me wrong. There's other Edomites out there that have said things. They're God's people, and and, and all of this and, and that. You know, this isn't the first time, but this is like the first time that I've recognized that a mm -hmm. pastor has said it. Right, right. And come to it. Uh, talking about a, a white or Edomite pastor. I don't know if he's an Edomite or not, yeah. but a so-called white pastor. We know that the um, the Asians, I think, have said. I think the Philippines or something confessed the name, but this is the first time I heard. I heard this full breakdown. It might have been another guy or so, mm -hmm. but this is huge. And, and if I could say something mm -hmm. to add, you know, and a lot of times, you know, you'll try to say, all right, this, you know, sometimes you'll look at him and say he might be a Jake. Now, the scriptures speak about even the enemies, man, confessing. Right. So mm -hmm. it's going to be, and, and he is, is it is it a possibility that he's an Israelite? Of course, right. you know, but for the most part, it's going to be white devils. Yep. That's the power of your by Shemal was shot. Right. That's gonna confess that the most highest chosen are the blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right, you had uh, individuals. I forget this. Um, the one who actually wrote the um, book dealing with uh, Christopher Columbus, and uh, well, you had the history of the uh, Native American Indians by James Adair. You know, mm -hmm. you had individuals that wrote their publications, and they were actually Edomites. Mm -hmm. But through the spirit of seeing. The, the tribes, they knew without a shadow of a doubt, they had to be the most high's chosen. Mm -hmm. And see, these these in, individuals, and like I said, he, more than likely he's he's an Edomite, you know, but he mm -hmm. could be a Jake. But for the most part, individuals like him, so-called white individuals, are going to get dreams. The most high is going to really oh, put yeah. spirits on them at night. We've seen cases mm -hmm. like that take place, and they're going to really see the most high, uh, you know, uh, the, the truth as it is. Right. Most size chosen see see themselves in slavery, their children in slavery, mm -hmm. and they're going to tell their congregation. They're going to tell the world about the things that they've seen, which is biblical prophecy. And I have another precept. You whenever get, you uh, you can uh, call it, so I can get to it. Okay, Acts two and seventeen. Yep. Oh, yep. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. We'll get there and uh, and we'll read it. Acts chapter two, which this is, I believe, is from uh, Joel. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Well, I'll start at sixteen since you said it. So. Okay. But this is that which was spoken by the prophet Joel. Mm -hmm. And it shall come to pass in the last days, saith the Most High, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Because mm -hmm. he's still like it, because he said he will plead with all flesh. Mm. Now it's not just talking about it, uh, Israel's flesh, it's talking about all the people on the earth. He said, I will judge the heathen round about. Mm -hmm. Okay, you got it. I think he said that in Joel. Yeah. You got it. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. 
-hmm. And your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. And, and like they said in the in the, in the uh, whoever uploaded the video, Larry Reed live, he said hey, he's straight up prophesying, mm -hmm. and he is. Yeah, you know whether he's been watching videos or not, whether whether however he came to this revelation, he's on point with it. Okay, only thing he didn't say was Negro, Latino, Native Americans, because all of those judgments have to be. Um, Requited for, yeah, and shame on a lot of you, you, you Jakes, to have to hear it from a pastor mm -hmm. for it to be confirmed to the spirit. You have men that's been prophesying and pushing this word out for decades, literally decades, mm -hmm. chunks out of their life, dedicating, telling you that you're God's chosen people, and you don't like to hear it. Mm -hmm. But when it comes, like as the scriptures speak about a rich man, now since mm -hmm. the, the white man will say it, now you validate it. But yep. but we understand the, the Most High, and he's yep. he is still going to do these things to show himself as the power as he is. But it, it just right. it, as a side note, because you Jakes, mm -hmm. man, you you the worst. Yep. But I'm gonna continue on. Yep. And your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. Yep. And on my servants and on my handmaids, I will pour out in those days of my spirit, and they shall prophesy. Yep. Yeah, women. Uh, what a lot of uh, you know sisters been having. Yeah. You know dreams mm -hmm. about martial law. Yep. About deliverance, about spiritual power. Pastor Hall mm -hmm. always speaks about it. How his rib, you know, continually she, has dreams. Has yeah. a lot of dreams. You know. Hey, brothers in the truth, uh, when we have dreams, you know, my woman alone has had chariot dreams. Shit, I've seen a chariot with her. Mm -hmm. Okay. So there, there's all types of situations that brothers are seeing that that's prophesying unto the times that we're coming into mm -hmm. okay you got more a little bit more um and i would show wonders in heaven above and signs in the earth beneath and those are the, those signs in the earth beneath we're not only seeing um uh, uh uh prophetic signs of the times we're seeing literal miracles wonders mm -hmm. in the earth we're seeing um full uh t total eclipses we're mm -hmm. seeing chariot sightings, blood just moons. flooding the sky, blood moons, wolf moons, mm -hmm. you know, all types of things happening in the earth, and 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 it's gonna say what the type of things that we're seeing. And it says fire, uh, well, damn near majority of Australia was on fire as well as California, and a mm -hmm. lot of states were. The Amazon was was on fire. What was that? Twenty twenty uh twenty. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken, last year, all these individuals. Mm -hmm. That's the power of the Lord, and vapor yep. of smoke, volcanic eruptions, and things of that yep. nature. You know, as, as well as uh, natural disasters, mm -hmm. droughts. Yeah. You know, freeze overs. There's still stuff freeze going. Freeze overs. Hey, like we've been we've been laughing about this because we understand the prophecies that are coming, and a lot of you people are having dreams about it, and it's confirming. So some of you are kind of like, oh, like we had at the camp in Orlando. Mm -hmm. She's like, I, I see, I knew this. I, I I had a dream about it, and I saw this, and I was looking at it on the, on the internet, and I knew it, and the Illuminati, and, the, and you know, just just seeing the things click. As they come up to us and we're prophesying unto them the things that are happening. Mm -hmm. Yep. You got it. It says, the sun shall be turned into darkness mm -hmm. and the moon into blood before that great and notable day of the Lord come. Here it is. That's it. So let me, um, I'm going to play the video, then we'll pull a couple more uh, precepts. Okay. Oh, when this plays right. Now let me say something right quick. I think back on the African, African American people in America. I think how that they were taken against their wills, put in the belly of ships, brought over here, beat, cussed. Many of them died in the guts of those ships, thrown overboard. They were pulled from families over there. You ain't never heard a gut-wrenching song you hear a black person sing one of those old black Negro spirituals. Nobody knows. I can't sing it like that, see? Because I hadn't experienced what they be. When you've experienced hell, it comes out of the voice. Oh. I said, when you experience hell, it comes. <laughs> he doubled up and said it, knowing that the condition that you Negro Latinos and Native Americans was hell. Was hell? Yeah. He Excuse didn't call it. He didn't say that. You know, he didn't equate it to a to a uh, pitchfork with a red devil place with lava and fire everywhere. You know, two hundred six hundred and sixty six feet underground. Or he didn't say nothing to that. He referred to the condition of us coming over was hell and the life that we lived over here was hell. Mm -hmm. And this is exactly what the scripture said was. Yeah, and, and you know, 
he's one of the more inclined ones. Mm -hmm. He understands the conditions and sees how what we've been through resonates so heavily yep. within a, a harsh reality that we're living in. And such people that were brought low, he understands. Because you can tell he reads. Mm -hmm. Scripture says, blessed to see that readeth. And yep. he's not just saying this just because. You can, you can see it's a certain spirit on yeah, him he, for yeah. him to... It's, He's touchy with it, going into mm -hmm. Negro spiritual. So he's yeah. a, a level of educated yep. to even you know bring out what he's speaking about. That's right. But you go uh, continue. continue. Yeah. Right, okay, okay. Other boys, if you're one of those people that you got a problem with black people or whatever, you better shut your mouth because they're God's people. You better hear what I'm saying to you. you shut your mouth. You better shut your white mouth. <laughs> You better shut your white mouth. I'm not kidding you. I know some of you is raised in the deep south and you is raised by prejudiced people and bigoted people. You better get that out of your system. You better get it out of your system. It'll cause you to suffer right along with those masters. It'll cause you to suffer right along with them. These are God's people. And I know that there's wicked and white races and wicked and black races and all that. I'm not justifying none of that stuff. I'm just saying God knows what happened to the black race. He knows how they wound up over here. And God is going to re reimburse the black people for all their trouble and all their labor. You watch what I tell you. <laughs> watch what I tell you. And one thing, too, about that is that congregation is predominantly possibly white. Yeah. As a, I, didn't, I didn't really notice a lot of Jake mm -hmm. in there at a glance, you know. Whew. So he, and he, he knew, he knows who his crowd is, who's, who's in his congregation. He can look around and see. He said, you watch what I tell you. You know, that's what a, that's what a real um, pastor is supposed to do. I'm going to back mm -hmm. it up a little bit. And, and we ain't that. saying it like now every segment, now he's going to get deeper into yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. It's just, a, it's just most I say he put, yeah. put the spirit on these different individuals mm -hmm. to say the things that they say, to direct right. you Israelites, them that have eyes to see and ears to hear. And you know there's probably some, some, some so-called white Jake's in the crowd. Oh yeah, that's really that probably felt a certain way about about the, you know the Negroes or, or the blacks or whatever, or, or whomever that he that he felt he had to say that about. Mm -hmm. Hey, some of you, you you so-called white uh, uh, white people out there, some of y'all are our people as well, and you're gonna be held to a standard of how you looked at your fellow fellow brother and sister. That's right. You know, I got a precept to oh, that. You, no, you, you want to go finish? It's only, it's only like ten seconds. seconds. Yeah. Their labor. You watch what I tell you. Watch what I tell you. Yep. Yep. Watch what I tell you. Where we at? Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Because he gotcha. spoke about us uh, being God's chosen people. Yes, sir. And he didn't just get that realization from nothing. It, it says that within the Bible. Mm -hmm. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. For thou art in the holy people unto the Lord thy power. Mm -hmm. The Lord thy power have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Now, what he didn't tell you, that I'll just fill in with a quick dissertation to it, is that we um that we are uh, getting punished for this. You Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans are all getting punished because you did not keep your end of the bargain to be a special people unto the Heavenly Father, which was to keep the statute laws and the commandments. Okay, well, if you kept that, which you was, you know, we're not going to go into that part, about why we didn't keep it, but we went and we didn't keep it. Okay, period, point blank. We didn't hold up our end of the deal. Now we have to go through this tribulation. Now that that part's over, now's the part where you got to choose what type of spirit you got. Mm -hmm. Are you going to be for Yahweh Hashem El Shai? Are you going to be for uh, or for the world and your flesh and, and Satan and the beast? And you're going to deal with that. Okay. Uh, God, I got another precept. Where we at? Uh, Baruch 2. Yep. i get there one second. It says, For I knew that they would not hear me because it is a stiff necked people. Repeating what, uh, what it said in Jeremiah, the second chapter. You mm -hmm. got it? But in the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves. Yeah, when you're here, and it says, where they are uh, in uh, Hosea, it says, where one said, you are not my people, there should it be said, you are the children of the Most High. You are the children of the so Most High. So that's how you're going to remember, okay? Mm -hmm. We're in the land of our captivities here in America. 
the people that came over here and that that, that, that have been in captive as in servitude mm -hmm. under under another race of people, you so-called white people. That's right. You Edomites. It's a couple more verses on yep. that. Do you, you want to close no. with this, or you want to still get the? No, we should we should just okay. get them right quick. Okay. Well, um, I think it's important. Yeah, and, or at least reference Matthew. Yeah. yeah, I'll get him. It says, "And shall know that I am the Lord, their power." For I give them in heart and ears to hear. Mm -hmm. For they shall praise me in the land of their captivity yep. and think upon my name. Yep. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. That's the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. And Yahweh Shai is the only begotten Son who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ. And, and, and in this video, you see he was speaking about getting on the masters. Mm -hmm. It tells you in James, the fifth chapter, how the plowman is going to overtake the reaper. Yep. It said, In our land of our captivity, we will remember ourselves. Anytime you read about God's chosen people, the Israelites, in most cases, they were at the bottom. That's right. All right. The only time we really truly had a, a level of pure dominance was Solomon. That's right. Yep. King Not, David, had David was fighting it. for the throne. Right. He was still fighting for the throne. Yep. It was 40 years of war, and his hands were so bloody he couldn't even build the temple. Yep. Solomon was the only one that was clean hands that actually established a full monarchy. Mm -hmm. After him, Rehoboam and Jeroboam fought. In fightings amongst the tribes, yep. led all the way down from there. That's right. We so only we really had a, a truly forty. Plus, and, and prior yep. to that, you had our forefathers that were, you know, you know, dwellers in you know tents in different locations like yep. Abraham. But we never had our true, a true nation sovereignty, together, yet. full nation, a full under nation peace. together under yep. peace. Yep. That's how we know we're the most highest chosen. We had a shorter run than any other nation <laughs> on the face of the earth. Yeah. Look at black, look at the so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. Mm -hmm. They ain't got shit, man. Yeah. <laughs> Straightforward. I'll continue on. Yep. It says, and they shall praise me in the land of their captivity and mm -hmm. think upon my name. Yep. And return from their stiff neck and from their wicked deeds. For they shall remember the way of their fathers, which seek, sinned seek before the Seek ye the Lord. old path, mm -hmm. where it is the good way. You got it, bro. That's right. And it said, and walk ye in it. Mm -hmm. that, that was in uh, Jeremiah the sixth chapter. Mm -hmm. You have more. Uh, um, in this, which has matter of fact, thirty four was a good, is a good one too. Uh -huh. uh, and I will bring them again into the land which I promised with an oath unto their fathers. Yep. And to bring again is to return. Yep. How how were they brought out forcefully against their will? Remember, Israel. Mm -hmm. uh, the land of Israel is the chosen land. Why were the chosen people? leave a chosen location <laughs> it's only two things either they got seduced or they got forcefully pushed out yep, and we were forcefully pushed out. and we were forcefully pushed well, out well the sedu the seduction happened to the northern kingdom mm -hmm. that because we were trying to go somewhere that we would um be able to keep our laws you know and not be uh, uh influenced by the heathen around about so we hopped out of the um, assyrian captivity we hopped on boats and went over to the americas and then um the, the southern kingdom got pushed out by force during 70 AD. Mm -hmm. All right. After captivity, after captivity. That's right. Yep. Yeah. It says, and they shall be lords of it. Go Abraham, up a little. yeah. Yep. It says, and I'll bring them again with, into the land which I promised with an oath unto their fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, mm -hmm. and they shall be lords of it, and I will increase them, and they shall not be diminished. Yep. We're going to be on the top, man, as it should be, once we make that return. Mm -hmm. And that's why the, the new covenant comes in, where we're going to be perfect. We're not going to go off. We're going to stay continually blessed um, and have the statute, laws, and commandments written in us to perform them perfectly. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to rule over all the heathen in the world uh, in righteousness, as it should be, forever, even forever and ever. Yeah. And, you got something else? And this yeah. is a, yeah, in Numbers, the 24th yep, chapter. I'll, I'll get to it while you speak on it. But, um, you know, this all that we're going through is a spiritual learning lesson and understanding even though we're at the bottom, we are the most size chosen. It tells you also in Revelations um, how we're poor and, and, and naked and basically without, mm -hmm. but spiritually rich because we are the chosen. That's all right. right. And, and the uh, promises are coming to us. And the promises yeah. are coming. And, and yeah. the reason why we wanted to bring this uh, closing scripture, Lord, well, maybe the one in Matthew, mm -hmm. is to show, just like the title of the lesson, that the the most high w does put spirit on even the heathen mm -hmm. this is the dialogue between hey, it Balaam and Balak. Of, now we won't we're gonna highlight this one but we can name the others real quick mm -hmm. um when he when he had um i think it was caesar augustus mm -hmm. uh, Matthew did, 27th chapter yep when he didn't want to um curse your and put mm -hmm. him to death 
And he said, no. And that's when Jake said, no, it was the Southern Kingdom that particularly said, let his blood be upon us and our children's children. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then you go back to Darius had a righteous spirit on him to let him build the temple back. Yeah. Along with Blalak, uh, Balak. Which I mean, there were there were other Nebuchadnezzar had the dream. Nebuchadnezzar, you know, there were situations where the Most High dealt with the heathen. Cyrus. Cyrus. Mm -hmm. Yep. Exactly. So we'll we'll get this one and then we'll close. And the Lord put the spirit on Rahab. Yep. To, Harley, to, yep. to turn. She was for treason. Yeah. For the, and what did the the Most High really? Rahab after the uh, the the walls of Jericho was basically mm -hmm. destroyed. She got to live amongst the Israelites. Yep. You know, and she was actually even written of and being blessed within mm -hmm. uh, Hebrews the eleventh chapter. That's right. So the Most High does use these different nations, and we got to understand that that even though these nations are enemies unto us too, the Most High does use these other nations, and He'll mm -hmm. use anything. And the story yeah. with Balaam and Balak, it was a donkey that started confessing the spirit that's of, that's right. of the Lord. And, and I right. get that, of course. You yeah. want to say something? No, 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 no. You got okay. it. Numbers twenty-four and ten, and Balak's anger was kindled against Balaam. Mm -hmm. And he smote his hands together, and Balak said unto Balaam, I called thee to curse mine enemies, <laughs> and behold, thou hast altogether blessed them these three times. Mm -hmm. Therefore now flee thou to thy place. I thought to promote thee unto great honor, but lo, the Lord have kept thee back from honor. And Balaam said unto Balak, Spake I not also to thy messengers which thou sentest unto me, saying, if you know what, and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna really jump down from this point. Yeah. But that main one 18. was the, yeah, and and I wanted to, you know, what we wanted to go into through the spirit, what uh, Balaam was basically confessing. So, matter of fact, can, 15, 15, 15 yep. be good. Verse 15, and he took up his parable and said unto Balaam, and said, Balaam the son of Beor, this is Balak talking to Balaam, mm -hmm. have said. And the man whose eyes are open have said, he hath said, which heard the words of the Most High and knew the knowledge of the Most High, which saw the vision of the Almighty falling into a trance, but having his eyes open. Hmm. I shall spirit, see him. Spirit got on him. Spirit got on him. Mm -hmm. And the Lord does that. It says in Job, mm -hmm. uh, when, when deep sleep falls upon man, the heathens, the yep. wicked, the righteous, yep. that's when the Lord starts tapping and, and screwing his his spirit within the uh, the noggins of these nations, you know. I'm gonna say this also. Um, when you uh, you gotta know that this wasn't a Jake, this was a, a Moabite. Mm -hmm. Okay, so so we'll we're, we're continue to make the point that even a heathen could prophesy. That's right. You got it, bro. Yeah, because this was prophecy. Mm -hmm. Verse 17. I shall see him, but not now. I shall behold him, but not nigh. There shall come a star out of Jacob. Mm -hmm. And the scepter shall rise out of Israel. Talking about Yahweh Shai. Yep. And shall smite the corners of Moab and destroy all the children of Sheth. Mm -hmm. And he, he prophesied about doom and gloom like this pastor before that yep. we have seen here. Yep. And Edom shall be a possession. Seir also shall be a possession for his enemies. Mm -hmm. And Israel shall do valiantly. That's right. Out of Jacob shall come he that shall have dominion and shall destroy him that remaineth of the city. That's right. All right, verse 20. And when he looked on Amalek, he took up his parable and said, Amalek was the first of the nations, but his latter end shall be that he perish forever. Hey, but at that point, they wasn't, they wasn't uh, in, in a power seat, Amalek. So this is clearly a prophecy. Okay, the time, the time that we're talking about we're, we're, this is still a book of, uh, no, of Moses. Mm -hmm. You got it, brother. Yeah, and, and Amalek was a pretty significant nation, so to speak. Mm -hmm. You know, even though they were an Edomite nation, they wasn't ringing a lot of noise like that back then. Right. They're one of the biggest culprits of all the wickedness in today's time. They had to really mm -hmm. grow in their wickedness, so to yep. speak, for that prophecy to be fulfilled. Mm -hmm. The word fulfilled is like a compound word to fill full. It's fully... Yep. Like <laughs> yeah, like to be hatched. Yeah, this these because they did a, a lot of prophecies are twofold too. A lot of them were 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 still Current. strong and they were buffing, mm -hmm. still relevant and living yeah. and breathing. But this is the time where these prophecies are fully fully coming to pass. Yeah. Fully coming to pass, and that was really the main uh, point. Yeah, that he was prophesying. The yeah. Moabite king was prophesying, and we even made a joke about when he had the donkey. Mm -hmm. And we were talking about that also when he had the donkey. Like you don't see that angel over there. 
<laughs> yeah. That was the one you're talking about, right? Yep, yeah. The, the angel donkey, was yep. in the road. Yep. The man never couldn't see. Yep, and he had the donkey to speak. The most high can do that. So how much more, if he can do that with an animal, how much more could he do it with the heathen? Right. Now, now we don't know if this man's a, a Jake or not, but simply saying, the most high made him to speak uh, certain words. Yeah, that's good enough. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. And 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 that's really. Point that we close it. Yeah. So, that you know fully drives home the time that we live in and be on the lookout for that too. Mm -hmm. You know these different nations going to say a lot. Yep. White women, white men, youthful children, yep. elderly. You know it's going to be a lot of people that's going to show, and truly push out through their spirit through through conviction that's right that the most high is chosen are the blacks latinos and native american spiritual powers coming soon mm -hmm. massive chippings these different dreams and things chariots we have to get ready and we have to take these things very serious that's and right. believe heavily because that's this is the stuff that the lord is going to have transpiring before our eyes mm -hmm. you know, so that's all last thing i was going to say was okay. was um uh and, and we're and as the men of the lord we're here to confirm mm -hmm. these things through the scriptures okay so that's why we don't just post this video we also go and uh or just tell you about it or whatever we also go and put the scriptures to it mm -hmm. we, we put the context to it okay because the time we're coming in our job like like they don't know what these cherishes are they changed the name of, of ufos to um um uh, unidentified aerial phenomenon or mm -hmm. something like that is, well we like no 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 the real name of those are the chariots of, of the Most High, of Yahweh mm -hmm. Shimei Yahweh Shai. And the mm -hmm. angels in Yahweh Shai is going to be in that, and there's going to be dreams about those. That's right. Okay, and and, and, and and missiles and destruction and World War III, all these things are still coming to pass. Okay, so people are seeing these visions, and they're now coming to pass. Our job is to, is to continually uh, push them prophecies out there that the people will understand what's coming on, so there will be no excuse when they choose wickedness. That's right. All right, so with that, we can close out giving all praise and glories unto Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Rukakudash. Double honor to the apostles and the elders at the Great Millstone. Greetings, salutations, and blessings unto the elect. Until the next one. Shalom. Shalom.